Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. Today I wanted to go through and actually update you guys with some Chainlink analysis. Chainlink has been breaking new all-time highs once again and is heading closer to $20. This is a major move playing out inside of the cryptocurrency markets that is actually dragging all of the rest of the altcoins up with it. As you guys know, Tezos has been another one of my big positions and Chainlink has been outperforming every single one of those. I wanted to go through, give you guys some updated analysis inside of Chainlink. I want to talk about the risk to reward. Is it still a good time to be buying Chainlink? And then we're also going to be diving into the Bitcoin pairs so that we can see exactly where I'm expecting this market structure to head over the next couple months. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure that you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And always remember guys, I have the fastest growing and the very best Discord crypto community out there and I would absolutely love it if you guys would join it's free for anybody that wants to all you guys got to do to get access is to click in the description of this video and there you're gonna find the invitation link once you guys have access I also offer my more exclusive content like the video course and signals so if you're somebody that wants to follow my 20 educational videos or you'd like to copy my long-term portfolio along with all the other trades that I take make sure that you guys stay all the way to the end of this video because I'm gonna be taking a couple minutes to explain how you guys can sign up the pros of doing so and what it's gonna to take to get you guys going today all right guys we got a lot of really exciting things to talk about with Chainlink. I'm super excited to bring you this update. Tons of profits to be had. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alrighty guys, so here we are taking a look at Chainlink on the dollar. Now this is getting so exciting to just look at this chart because it's really doing all of the things that I expected it to and it's actually doing it even quicker. And this is the cool thing about crypto. You know guys, I've been updating you on the Amazon fractal for a while. I've been sharing with you guys the Amazon chart from all the way back in the early internet bubble, how it went, you know, super, super crazy. It was like a 250x return from where it's at today. And I kept updating you and explaining how Chainlink looks so much like that. And I was expecting right here that we were going to see a huge breakout really quickly. And that's exactly what we've had happen so far. And so, you know, we're starting to make this real parabolic move. And I've had a lot of people asking me, you know, is now a good time to be buying Chainlink? Is it too expensive? You know, is this the time where we should be selling? And so I wanted to go through and answer some of these questions. I wanted to go through, maybe help give you guys a little bit more uh, input as far as what I'm going to be doing so that maybe it'll help to balance out your own um, investment strategy. And so let's go through here and talk about some things. First off, what I want to talk about was just how parabolic this thing is getting. It's going so parabolic that all of the previous consolidation is starting to look really, really small and scrunched up. Even this consolidation that we'd been in for so long is starting to look really small. And this is what's to be expected when a market really starts to go parabolic. And I've seen a lot of people starting to ask me, you know, is this the time where we need to sell? You know, this looks really, really parabolic. I don't think it's very sustainable. And while yes, it is very parabolic, you got to understand that there is, uh, it, what, what paradigm are we focusing on? Because yes, this does look parabolic, but you know, is this 2017 parabolic or is this going to be something a little different? And that's the thing that we have to understand here. Because if we come and take a look at Ethereum, you know, at this point, one could have definitely made the assumption that Ethereum is parabolic right here. But was this the top? Well, of course not. Ethereum had a crazy 2017 run. And so that's kind of the same thing in which I'm playing Chainlink today. Realistically, I expect a lot more upside to come. And even though we are very parabolic, you know, parabolic now doesn't quite mean euphoria parabolic as far as blow off top and that's the thing guys what you're going to see and what you have to adjust yourself to over the next you know year and a half of this market cycle is we've been accustomed to seeing all of the markets just downtrend really crazy bear markets where you know everybody was just losing money you couldn't really make any profit off anything and it was very slow and methodical where we're entering the new paradigm of this bull market where you know the bull market's starting and we're going to start seeing markets start breaking out and it's going to happen so fast so quickly that people aren't going to be expecting it and because of their trauma from holding throughout this bear market they're going to get a little bit of profit and they're going to immediately sell it and they're going to try and realize those gains because they're just so traumatized of all of that bear market consolidation 
And so people are watching this chart right now and they're thinking, oh man, I need to get out of this. This is too dangerous. This is really risky. You know, it's already gone up so much. I've seen this happen too many times up to this point and then they're selling. For me guys, I'm still holding. I haven't taken any profits, none of my spot profits. I'm still holding my margin longs that I took all the way down here at $3.70. And so I'm really leveraged into this. I am expecting that this one's gonna have a lot more upside potential. And that's the thing that I wanted to point out. Now, as far as where we're at in this structure, I wanted to take a look at Ethereum because in my opinion, we look a little something like this, um, where we kind of started that parabolic rise and then we broke up and then we're just kind of starting the short term consolidation before, you know, we really start breaking up much harder. And that's, in my opinion, where we're at with Chainlink. Um, I think that we could rally upwards of about 20 bucks, somewhere right around this range. And then we'll probably see a little bit of a short term correction something like that. And then we'll keep going up, right? Expect little pullbacks. And these are the types of pullbacks that you want to be buying. If you're a long-term investor in a chain link, or if you're just looking to scale in and out and do some swing trading, you know, chain link's a good one to do that too, because all you have to really do is just look for the dip days, buy those dips, and you're going to be in profit way more consistently than you're not. And that's what I'm expecting to have happen with chain link. Overall, short-term little corrections before we continue to break up much higher. Uh, in my opinion, guys, I think it's closer to about a hundred dollars in which we'll see a little bit of a heavier correction because like in ethereum you know we went from 20 uh, from about six dollars all the way up to four hundred dollars and then we kind of made this consolidation here this was our bigger consolidation in this move before breaking out and making one more final impulse right and that's kind of what i'm going to be watching out for with Chainlink. i think that around a hundred dollars we could be seeing that same type of uh correction where you know maybe we rally up and even that that's probably a little bit bigger than i would expect that's probably even, you know, huge correction. Yeah, so it would actually be something similar to this, where we, we might see this big rally upwards of $100. We might half in value come retest $50 approximately. And then that's actually where I would be expecting one more big rally. And I don't know how high that's going to take us. I have no idea. For me, I've told you guys that my targets for Chainlink are going to be anywhere from about $200 to $500. And like I've stated many times in numerous videos, I actually sell out and scale out based off of time frames, not price. So it's it, it doesn't even matter what the price is by the end of it. I'm going to be selling off of a time frame and so you know whatever that gain is by the end of it so be it that's kind of just the plan that i'm going to be sticking to um but yeah guys overall this is still really early i don't foresee this being anywhere close to being completed at the very least we hit a hundred dollars so you know we're currently sitting at about fifteen dollars sixteen dollars we still have a lot more upward potential to go i mean for us to hit a hundred dollars from where we're currently sitting at that's about a percent increase of about 500%, 5X. And so realistically, guys, the thing about buying Chainlink right now is you got to understand that it's really expensive in comparison with a lot of other coins. You got to also understand that we are in price discovery, so it's hard to understand, it's hard to really know where it's going to go. We don't have a specific, you know, line drawn in the sand where everybody just knows that it's going. It's just kind of in price discovery. And so this thing is a little bit more risky as far as that goes. For me, I was buying a lot down in here and I was willing to hold into price discovery because I knew that I would have no idea how high it was going to go. And so now that it's in price discovery, I personally don't have an inclination to actually buying more spot chain link. You know, it got up really parabolic. I just don't see the risk to reward being in my favor anymore. And so I think that it's much better for me to actually just go and buy some of these other altcoins that are a little bit cheaper. Um, but nonetheless, guys, if you are holding Chainlink, I still think this is an excellent hold. You know, it's it's an excellent hold for the people that got in early. And that's the thing. Why it really does pay to get in early with this stuff is because, you know, by buying right now, you're not going to make nearly the same ROI as you would have. In fact, it's probably better to just buy some of the other cheaper coins that, you know, are a 10x just to their all-time high. And so that's the thing that I want to talk about. You know, if you missed out on Chainlink, it's not the end of the world. There's a million other altcoins that are going to do this exact same thing. And so just, you know, branch out. Don't, you don't, you don't need to flip your coins that haven't been doing anything for a long time. You don't need to panic sell those to buy and FOMO into Chainlink right now. You just got to understand that you got to move on and learn from these mistakes. Obviously, you can't get every single trade right. It's not like you're going to be able to perfectly buy these coins and know exactly which ones they are before they start pumping. You're going to miss out on some and just accept that and move on. Now, Let's dive into the Bitcoin pair real quick because this one is looking exceptional. And this is really the – it's cool that we're seeing this type of parabolic move because this is kind of the point that I've been expecting and what I've been updating you guys with on this channel for a long period of time now. And it's cool that you know I've been updating you, staying so consistent with my technical analysis and my perspective on the markets. And we're seeing the markets do exactly what I've thought this whole time. And that's such a good feeling to just be here. You know, having all these people that doubted me, especially in coronavirus when all the crashing was going on, have so many people doubt and then 
and to actually see the markets come to fruition exactly as I had expected. It's exciting, not only for me, but it's exciting to see you guys here making this money because this is the confirmation that we needed, right? You know, aside from me being right, because that's that really doesn't even mean anything. You know, me being right on a call, me calling, oh. Chain link's a good buy, and then everybody makes money. You know, I'm so over that stuff. Everybody on Twitter thinks it's this big prideful thing where you have to nail all these calls, and oh, I was the one that called this, or I was the person that discovered this pattern. It's so dumb, and that's what I've noticed so many people doing. But at the end of the day, I just want you guys to make money. Are you guys following my signals and making money? That's what matters to me. I don't care who calls the thing first. Um, at the end of the day, we're all just here to make money together. And so, enough, enough with the rant. And so if we take a look at this, we can actually see that, you know, at this point we've gone so parabolic that we really can't even draw the normal trend line, the parabolic trend that we were drawing before. It's honestly just even distanced itself from that. And so we've hit this really big point of this parabolic cycle where, you know, the trend has just only gotten steeper and steeper. And we've actually hit a point where this is the point where I've been watching, where we hit the real parabolic um, move, right? And so... You know, this is something where I expect this to kind of keep playing out like this. And we're just going to get more and more parabolic until finally, you know, we're going to top out. And I don't know, you know, this line, don't even just ignore that because it doesn't mean anything yet. Um, but this is where I've been expecting to play out, where we're going to see, the, you know, the real blow off top here. And it looks like we're just getting those impulses into that final move, right? And this is kind of the thing I've been updating you guys with. This is what I've been wanting to share with you is the fact that, at this point here, when I drew this triangle consolidation, I said that when we broke out of this, it was going to happen quick and it was going to be a big move when it, you know, took place. Oops. And this is exactly what happened here. You know, we broke out and we've gotten very big, quick impulses, right? And so this is what I was expecting. This entire move up to this point, right here up to this uh, triangle, this entire move was just us accumulating on a parabolic trend. This was the parabolic trend just forming. This is the actual move of this parabolic breakout. And so we're going to continue to see this impulse and we're going to continue to see it go, you know, pretty parabolic in my opinion. I'm still holding on to this. And that's the thing. Every time I look at this chart, it just does not look like it's done. Every time I look at this, it just seems like it's going to keep going up. And so I'm going to keep holding on to that because, you know, it takes a really trained eye to be able to spot when the time to sell is, when to keep holding, because that's the tricky part, guys. You know, any, any idiot can buy a cryptocurrency and make profit, but it takes a special kind of person to actually be able to manage that trade and see it come into life-changing wealth. And that's the difference between a profitable analyst and an unprofitable analyst. You know, the, the unprofitable analyst can make a trade, right? And he can make some profits, but at the end of the day, he doesn't know how to manage any of it. And then he ends up losing it all back one way or another so through some other bad habit. Whereas the profitable analyst, you know, he can manage his trade and he can let that trade run and he'll make those profits. And that's the important thing here. And that's what we're really seeing up to this point is just big impulsing markets. You know, this could be, we have the potential that this could just be a very early impulse where this is just a one. We haven't even finished the three wave. And then we'll, you know, we'll continue to get bigger impulsing markets like this. And we could very easily see something along the lines of that, where we just continue to break much, much higher. Because that's the thing, guys. When we're early in these stages and we're in price discovery, we do not know how high these can go. Maybe Chainlink is revolutionary on so many different levels that we've never even expected. And because of that, you know, maybe we hit, you know, well over $400 per chain link. In that case, you know, this Bitcoin pair might just keep going up super, super high. We do not know how high it's going to get. One of the things I can just remind you guys of right now is when we're starting the early stages of this bull run, when they go parabolic, they go parabolic. And you want to have skin in the game because you don't want to miss out on this stuff because we don't know how high it's going to go. We just want to be able to have some diversification, have a little bit of exposure. So when they do start to take off, we can make that profit and we can at least have something in the game. That's the most important thing, guys. We don't know which ones are going to be the best performers. We can have an assumption, we can have a bias, and we can you know invest into them accordingly. But at the end of the day, certain ones are going to surprise, certain ones are going to disappoint. And that's why we diversify our portfolios. That's why we get in these. And you know, I just wanted to update you guys with Chainlink today because we've seen such a nice uptrend in this. I expect a lot more upside to come. I wanted to answer a couple questions to the people that you know have been holding this, wondering, you know, should I buy Chainlink? Should I buy something else? If this is my honest personal opinion, I am no longer buying spot chain link. This is me, this is me speaking here. I am no longer buying spot chain link. 
yeah, I'll take some margin trades, but the only personal way that I'm going to be trading Chainlink is if I'm just doing margin trades or just doing some short-term swing trading on the way up. But even then, that's just more or less to do with margin. I'm personally not going to be accumulating any more spot Chainlink because it just doesn't make sense at this level. You know, for me to hit 100 extra turns, it's got to go to $156. You know, eh, that just doesn't seem as... Uh, for this thing to hit... For this thing to hit 100 x you know it's got to go to over fifteen hundred dollars and i just don't think that that's very realistic at this point so you know i'm going to be looking for the bigger returns and chain link at this point is a little bit more expensive the risk quite the risk to reward isn't as good anymore so i'm going to be moving on to other things i already have all of my spot accumulated from all the way back down in here since sub three dollars levels and so now i'm just ready for the go and so you guys just make sure that we're holding long term make sure that we're focusing in on that understand that we still have a lot more parabolic move to go for the people that are still holding you know, now's really not the time where you want to be selling a whole lot. I'm holding, I haven't taken any profits of anything and I'm up significantly. And, you know, if the market looks like this and I still haven't taken profits, that shows that I have enough confidence that this is going to continue to keep performing well. So just do of that with you. Do of that what you will. Now, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Quickly, before we wrap things up, I want to take a couple minutes to explain how you guys can sign up for the video course and signals, what it comes with and really just the pros of doing so. Now, one of the cool things about joining my group is you're gonna get access to all of these private signals. You know, all of the coins that I've been talking about on my channel, signals posted inside of the Discord, you guys get early access to all of that so that you can make these profits that I'm making. You guys would have got early access to all of my chain link calls. You would have been in a lot of profit right now. And on top of that, the most important thing, guys, is aside from knowing what to buy, the most important thing is knowing when to take your profits because you gotta realize all of those gains. And that's the point of joining my group. Because, you know, you guys can watch my channel you guys can see all the coins that i talk about and you guys can go buy those and make profit but the trick is none of you guys know exactly when to sell those and that's the most important part because if you don't know when to sell you're not going to realize any gains and you're not going to actually make any money and so by joining the discord the best the most value that you're going to get out of it is joining the signals because you can copy my portfolio now i'm not saying that you guys shouldn't sign up for the video course either because the video course is full of exciting information that's going to teach you guys all of the skill set needed to actually trade and invest in these markets beginner stuff trend lines support and resistance and you know intermediate stuff wall street cheat sheet emotional psychology of a market cycle fibonacci and then more advanced stuff as in trading plans risk management and things like that and so you know there's a all around good opportunity for you guys to join in on this stuff whether you just want to copy my portfolio and make all of these profits that i'm making you want to know exactly what i'm holding when i'm buying it when i'm selling it stop losses and all of that join the signals for somebody that would rather just learn how to you know make these profits like i'm doing every single day on your own pace or you just want to learn how to do this like investing in general then the video course is going to be for you. And if you want, you guys can purchase them together or separate. It's $1,000 each or $2,000 for both. I accept cash, credit. I accept credit or debit, and I also accept crypto. Now, the way you guys sign up is to click in the description of this video, and there you're going to find the invitation link to my Discord server. Once you guys click that, it'll... Once you guys click that and you guys have access, you can shoot me a message or shoot any of the six moderators a message, and we will all be here to help you guys get started on the right path of profiting today. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you all so much for you know just the constant encouragement. Thank you guys for being here, holding through the bear market, and just focusing in on all of this profit because I can tell you firsthand it's changed my life, and I'm so looking forward to seeing it do the same thing to you guys. With all that being said, I will catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.